Leo, hello. Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your reading for mid-August. First of all, I'm like, <clears throat> I have some preamble stuff I need to say, but I'm completely blown away right now um, by the cards that just came out. I just laid them, and usually like, I take a minute and kind of meditate on what's here before I press record, but I'm just like honestly a little shaken because this is the cards that came out are your almost identical to your previous reading readings I should say because the same cards have been coming out for you but the exact same cards this same energy queen of wands queen of coins is here for you with the two of wands two of wands in the middle which is the choice point so you really are like at this choice point between these two energies it's a choice point for what is actually going to bring balance and reciprocity into your life with the six of coins and and i'm like i, I do need to explain the spread to you and talk about the energies but i'm just like a little bit uh kind of freaked out and blown away Listen, I know the power of tarot. I work with it every single day, but but um, it still blows me away. And um, especially when I see synchronicity so exact like this, uh, it just humbles me so massively in the face of these unseen hands that that are here guiding us through this reading. So, okay, the spread that we're working with here is a spread that I post about over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out at Unseen Hands Healing. But this is a, a spread about the shift, the shape that you are shifting out of and the shape that you are shifting into and what that shift looks like. Um, this, I chose this spread at this particular time because August is always a bit of a, a shift month. It's a, it's a transition month between seasons, but this particular August is a massive transition for us as a species. It is like humanity is, is being offered this opportunity to massively upgrade like our very DNA, <laughs> and it has to do with our connection to spirituality and our connection to the unseen. Um, it also has to do with us following our heart. Those are, those are the, the general energies that the evolution that we are being asked to take right now is, is truly an internal one that is going to then have massive repercussions externally it's a it's a really good thing but it's a really hard shift i just saw 333 which is my sign for like yes this is spiritual alignment this is about spiritual alignment this is this shift is about us coming into alignment with our higher selves with spirit and moving in that way from now on and it's a huge painful shift quite honestly because it means that anything in your life that is not currently aligned with that has to go and those shifts are never easy. And it that's and so I will get into this spread in a second fully, but before I even pulled cards, I just like invite in the Leo energy and any any um messages or visualizations that want to come through for Leo. And what came was a feeling of an earthquake. And I thought it was just like, I don't know, something energetic happening in me. And I was like, Ooh, okay, let's like calm my energies. But no, it was like, I would, I would go walk around the space, do something else, come back to the, to the meditation, open up to Leo energy and just the earth beneath me feels like it's shaking. And I'm so I'm like, okay, this is for Leo. This is, this is a shaking of the ground beneath your feet but it's good it's really really good and it's interesting too because what I saw in that shaking was like things being unearthed first I saw actually toys scattered all over the grass like kids toys being like shaken 
in the quake but then it was like the things that were underneath the surface started coming up like worms and like bones and whatever had been buried and all this stuff it's like whatever's been buried underneath is being shaken to the surface now this is the earthquake the 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 quake at your roots that needs to happen in order to shake you into forward movement. So the shape that you are shifting out of is the fool, which is interesting because normally the, the fool is like a leap of faith, a new beginning. You would think this would be a shape you're shifting into, but it's a shape you're shifting out of. And it's interesting that like I felt the ground beneath me shaking because it's almost like this, if, if you can imagine in this card that there was, this was all solid ground that this person is standing on and that earthquake suddenly has like cracked this cliff and that earth fell away and opened up this whole vista before you. But in this card, what I'm drawn to for you, Leo, is the shape you're shifting out of this person is looking back. They're looking, instead of looking ahead to this whole vista, in this card, the fool is looking back. And there's almost like, I know it's it's this person's hand holding, it's your own hand. Like, almost like someone's pulling the dress backward. It's like you're holding yourself back. And yet one half of you is holding you back. The other half of you has this flower, this promise of a new beginning of like you actually being able to bloom, being held out over the open space, held out over the new vista. And so here's the two halves of you kind of like torn, the choice, right? But you're looking back. And I think you are shifting out of looking back perhaps you have been on this precipice for a while now feeling the tension between that choice it's so interesting because I never have seen choice in this card before in the full card and I'm like it's usually like leap of faith new beginning like takes faith it's hard to do um, leap in the net will appear, whatever. And all that is absolutely still here for you, Leo. But this is like, I'm really seeing a choice. It's a choice between, am I going to hold myself back or am I going to take the leap of faith and bloom? Now that this vista has opened up before me, now that the ground beneath me has unearthed whatever needs to be unearthed, what am I going to do? And the shape you're shifting into is also interesting this is such an interesting reading already is the eight of wands which is forward movement which is take check it out to me this looks like you've taken the leap and you have not yet landed and it's like when you take that leap you don't know where you're gonna land you don't you take the leap you don't know where you're gonna land but you have to go with your gut and you have to trust and have faith that it's somewhere real 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 good and usually the eight of wands is a really positive energy so this is also information of like, uh, energy of information coming in fast. The Eight of Wands has been coming up in, in many of the readings here, and you're the final one, so it, it has come up a lot um, for this particular shift that we're all experiencing. And, I, and I've been getting that as spiritual downloads, like system upgrade. And I'm getting that for you as well, but actually even more pointed. This does feel like some outside information coming in. It feels like your forward movement. And notice how the wands are kind of cutting through this rose on their way to a landing place down below. Slicing off some petals. But you know what? I'm feeling like that's a slice that needs to happen. Slicing off some petals. That's you making a choice. Some petals are getting sliced. 
are they going to be your petals or are they going to be some petals that you don't need? You know, it's like, okay, so here, here's the thing. Leo, if you have, if you're new to my channel and you have not watched the other Leo videos, you need to go watch them. Honestly, pause the video right now and at, at the very least go watch the earlier Leo August video and then come back to this mid-August video because it's gonna it's gonna be the entire context for the rest of this reading because literally the exact same cards came out and I'm it's like freaky ah oh, yes our old favorite characters here here they are this is this is your dilemma. Am I gonna hold myself back or am I gonna take the leap of faith? <laughs> I'm so stunned by this. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna get it together here, but I'm like, damn, you just can't write this shit. Are you going to stay with this energy and for some of you I really felt like this energy was a relationship a partnership that you have and this was like the promise of a different kind of partnership that you could have so you're at this choice point between the two and I say that because the two of wands came out right between the two of wands this is a choice it's a portal it's a door way that is open there's no door it's just a portal it's like an archway are you going to walk through the portal because check this out the world is being offered to you the world is being offered to you spirit god divine higher self guidance whatever is trying to point you the unseen hand is seen right here and it's trying to point you in the direction of the world being held out to you like a whole new world for you opening up. And look, it's po being pointed in this direction because Leo, I don't often get definitive readings like this. I don't, it's often like, okay, well, you know, do whatever you're gonna do. This situation looks hairy, but you can salvage it if blah, blah, and blah happen. No, this situation is so freaking clear. You need like the, the choice that the unseen that your higher self is trying to tell you to make, because look, they're the same color. It can't be clearer than that. The choice is trying to tell you to move from this energy. And by the way, so I'll just recap for those of you that have not watched the other video and did not pause the video like I told you to, which is all 1313. This energy, this Queen of Wands energy, has been coming through for you, Leo, as, see the, the Queen laying down here, lounging, see how she's got these, she's got this whole, like, roaring hearth fire, and she's just, like, taking little bits of it and kind of, like, giving you breadcrumbs, giving you pittance. Oh, you look like you're getting kind of angsty. Well, let me just like, here you go. Okay, I better give you a snack. You know, I better give you a little morsel so that I keep you hooked. When in reality, this person doesn't really care about your needs and is not needing you in a place of equality and reciprocity. You have been surviving off of breadcrumbs for how long now, Leo? Enough is enough. I'm, I'm, I can't tell you, I'm shaking. My like energy is shaking like this because it feels so imperative. This is the choice point. This is it right here. This is three readings in a row now that this energy has come forth and I told you, you've got to, you've got to move on from this because it's, it feels really dire. It feels really urgent. I just saw one, four, four, four. Okay. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but, and, and right now, please, if this reading is not for you, if this is not obviously resonating with your situation, click off because it's not your reading, right? I can't read for absolutely every Leo ever, but there is some folks that I am picking up on month after month now. 
And, and you know if I'm talking to you. Where it's like, Leo, if you are in any kind of relationship, be that with a partner, a parent, because I'm telling you also, I've been feeling strong, like mother type energies, whether that's your mother or the mother of your kids or something, there is like a nurturer, there's a false nurturer and a true nurturer. And they are both in your life. They are both in your midst. You are currently, or, or the energy of both is in your consciousness. You know, if this is like, there's like a way of, of nurturing someone or mothering someone, a way of nurturing a relationship of any kind where it's just sort of like throwing breadcrumbs and tossing stuff out there once in a while to keep you satisfied but not actually satiating you, not actually feeding you. And then there's the queen of coins energy. This is a nurturer. This is someone who knows how to build a real family. This is someone with a lot to offer. Look at this beautiful pentacle. This is something, someone with something real to offer, not just this like ephemeral sparks to fly your way once in a while. This like, okay, whatever energy. This is real. This is no. I baked you an entire loaf of bread from scratch. Feast, it's all yours. And I did that not because, oh, that's just, I'm so much better. I did that because that is just who I am. You know what I mean? That's the queen of coins energy. This is who she is. And you know what? This is just who this person is. And it's just not right for you. I'm not necessarily saying this is a bad person. I'm just saying that this type of energy is not right for you anymore, Leo. This type of energy is. It's time for you to be actually nourished and nurtured and to learn what that actually is so that you don't keep believing that this is love. Breadcrumbs, pittance, whatever, that's not love. This is love. You need the whole meal now. You know, I think I said this in your last one. You are a lion. You are not a kitten. Lapping up a little bit of milk or eating a little bit of kibble. You are a lion and you need the whole zebra. And I believe for some of you, that energy is in your midst. Either you know someone who embodies this energy and that's the choice between these two. Choose this one please. Okay. Or this is more energetic. It's more about you deciding what your relationships are going to look like moving forward. Again, partnerships, family, whatever. This is about you making the decision, Leo. You, it's time for you to roar. Oh, I can't even hold the cards. I'm so freaked out. Okay. This is the two of wands. This is making a choice. It is time for you to make a choice. And what are you choosing? You're choosing the six of coins, reciprocity. Check out the scales of justice with that hand of God pointing up. I've never cared about that so much in this card before, but look, this is the unseen intervening, coming in now and saying, Leo, God dang it, you have to choose. You have to choose and we're trying to help you out here. We are trying to help you choose this. We're trying to help you choose balance, choose the scales of justice, choose what is right for you, choose what is just for your heart, choose what is balanced for your being instead of you giving, 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 and only getting a little bit in response or a little bit in return. This is the card of ultimate reciprocity, and it is time for you to have balance and reciprocity in your relationships. It is time for you to get back what you have given all of this time. I'm getting fired up. <sighs> getting fired up. Okay. Now listen, I'm feeling the urgency of this in a really specific way. So for some of you, this is that urgent. You are in a, in a relationship that has come to a point of um, a, 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 a real breaking point where it's like you have got to choose. You have got to choose what is right 
and nourishing for you and it does feel that urgent for some of you it is like this is the moment where you could get out of this and you got to for others of you it's like less dramatic as that and it is more of just like this I don't think it's less dramatic actually I, I feel like everything is pretty dramatic right now because it really is like things are quaking beneath us as we move towards this transition you know um, August 11th Jupiter stationing direct the wheel is turning Mercury's moving into Leo the magician is moving into your sign this is your choice. This is giving you the power, handing you the baton. I'm sweating. Giving you the baton, giving you the fire that you have needed to make the choice so that you're not relying on getting fire from this individual. Oh no, you don't need that fire anymore because you're Leo, you're a lion, you're a fire sign, you have your own fire. I think when Jupiter goes direct, it is a chance for you to take the baton. It's like Jupiter holding, wheel of fortune, holding out the wand, the ace of wands, the baton to you and saying, are you gonna take it? I just saw two, one, one, one. Are you gonna take it? And you know what? Honestly, I think you do. I think you do because here's forward movement. Forward movement in this direction. That's the, the trajectory of this shift for you is ch choosing to move out of this energy into this energy and bam, it's like, boosh, it all happens. Also with eight of wands, it can be divine intervention. So it's like, if you don't choose <laughs> to take the leap of faith, you know, it'll be chosen for you. Again, that, that, maybe like physically manifesting in a real palpable way for some folks and for others it's going to be like more of that internal ancestral work of like you making the choice for yourself inside yourself to come into your personal power and to say you know what i'm going to need boundaries with any kind of energy like this in my life any kind at all whether that's partnerships that are giving you a pittance or um I'm feeling strong maternal energy, so it could be a parent figure, some sort of parent figure, or any sort of nurturing energy in your life that's just like not fully reciprocal. This is like the choice point, the moment for you within yourself to stop looking to the ways of the past for how you are nurtured and start looking forward. Take the leap into the unknown to say, all right, I don't necessarily know what good like nurturing feels like but it ain't this so i'm gonna take a leap of faith Ta -da. you know towards what i know is really nurturing and caring energy for me two three two three mm -hmm. no more looking back you know, when I saw this um, full card, I also heard no turning back. You know, this person's feet are taking them off of this cliff. They're looking back, but it's like there's no turning back. There is no looking back now. There's no turning back now. And that's true collectively. We've got the South Node in Capricorn, and it's like, right alongside Saturn and Pluto because it's time to officially close out the cycles of the past to transform that energy once and for all. Like Pluto is that energy of the earthquake and things being unearthed. So for some of you, something, you know, we have the eight of wands here. We have information coming in. So something may come up. So like information may be uncovered, may, may be unearthed that helps you make this choice, that helps make the choice a little clearer for you. For others of you, again, this is more of an internal shift. It's a huge one, but it's an internal shift that you are making where something is being unearthed from your root. It's like all of this stuff from the past is being unearthed from your root and you're like, okay, I see it now, I get it. All the bones, all the worms, all the whatever, I get it. And remember the child's toys that I felt shaking that could be like your past self. Or for some of you, children are important here. 
but this is definitely about your childhood for some of you and this is definitely about a, 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 a bit of a toxic relationship situation for others of you. Maybe both. This got my heart going, Leo. Okay, listen. I'm going to take a postcard from the liminal space because this is a very liminal space to be in, to be at this choice point, to be seeing all of this stuff clearly for the maybe for the first time and to decide how to move forward towards true nurturance and true reciprocity. That's a real shift and, and that feels like a major limbo. So I'm going to take a card from the liminal space to see um, how you can transition and make this shift. But um, I am going to pull some more cards here in an, in an extended reading. I'm gonna pull clarifier cards on this situation, although it feels very clear to me because it's just a continuation of your last readings. Um, so, but I am gonna pull some clarity to see like what this choice point is, maybe what information is coming in here with the Eight of Wands, what that forward mo movement really looks like for you. And then I'm also going to continue to pull cards from the big deck here because, um, you know, we never shift from point A to point B and then that's it. Especially with the Eight of Wands being your point B. It's like, this is still so up in the air. These wands haven't landed. I want to see where you land, you know? Where does this shift take you? You know, we shift into one form and then we keep shifting. We shift into another and another and another and another until we make the ultimate shift, you know? Um, at the end of our our 3D life existence here. So, so I'm going to continue to pull cards to see what the shift continues to look like for you here. So if you're interested in that, the link is going to be below. It'll take you over to Patreon where there are multiple options for you to view that extended video. You can also send me a DM on Instagram at Unseen Hands Healing and... Um, you will have the opportunity to view this extended if this is resonating for you, all right? Again, if this is resonating for you, you will know it. Otherwise, go find another reader on Instagram that's tapping into a different kind of Leo energy, okay? So, on Instagram, I keep saying that, on YouTube. Why do I keep saying Instagram? Okay, so let's pull a postcard from the liminal space for Leo. Oh my. Do you see that? Two just flipped immediately. We have Dark Knight of the Soul. This is not, you are not the only one this is coming out for, okay? This is a tough moment in time, collectively. I'm sure you can feel it. June and July have been some real hell points for a lot of people, and it can feel like a Dark Knight of the Soul. It really is time to take the leap of faith to move out of this energy. So we're, I am going to read that to you so we can get into that deeper. But here's another one. The enemy of intuition is self-doubt, Leo. Now is not the time for you to doubt yourself. Even if... Now is the time for you to trust what you can't see. You've got to trust the, the unseen hands. You've got to trust your intuition. Trust what you know to be true, even if you can't see it. You understand? Sorry, I sound like a mom. Actually, I'm not sorry. Mother energy is beautiful energy. But I sound like a parent because, because this is, this is um, a big deal. It's a really, really, really big deal. Okay, first... My heart, I'm telling you. Woo. First, I'm going to read The Dark Knight of the Soul. Often presenting as depression, this treacherous time spent in the void is both your undoing and your becoming. This is the killing room floor of the false self. And while you have lost a lot of blood, you are not in real danger unless you put yourself in it. Imagine the final breath of the caterpillar cocooning in anticipation of death and instead finding itself reborn. You're about the phoenix, my friend. Aid yourself in this inevitable transformation. Inevitable. This is happening for you. <laughs> it feels inevitable. Sleep, hydrate, and try not to panic. Try not to panic. 
all you have to do is make it through the night. Okay, let's read The Enemy of Intuition is Self-Doubt. A cyclical, silent war with the self. The game is rigged and there are no winners. You could wait it out for a sense of certainty that may or may not come, or just go ahead and speak your truth as nothing pins doubt into place like silence. Fear is a liar. Life is for the living and you are invited. self-doubt, looking back, instead of doing what you know is right, instead of trusting your gut, instead of following your heart. Life is for the living, Leo, and you are invited to not just survive off of pittance and breadcrumbs. You are invited to choose And it is, and it is up to you. All right. Okay. Whew. Thank you for watching. All right. If this is resonating with you and you want to view that extended, get in touch with me or go over to Patreon and we'll make that happen. Okay. Um, for those of you who this is the end of this reading for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please click that like button so that we can surf the wave of YouTube and get this out to other Leos that really may need to hear this message. Um, and click that subscribe button so that we can stay in touch moving forward into September. Thank you so much for joining me um, on this journey that we have been on, whoever I'm tapping into in the Leo Collective over the last couple of months. Um, it really is an honor to hold space with you as you move through these energies. Um, I feel really honored to be like let in on this part of your life. And I, and I can feel this is a pretty massive precipice for you, literally. And I'm just really excited. Those Leos that I'm I'm tuning into here. So stay tuned. I can't wait to see what happens in September and I'm wishing you all the best.